Hey guys, Fukunos Maishi here, and here's a browser that will improve the way you open links. So let's get right into it. So we are taking a look at Flinx. Flinx is a third party pop up browser that will make your life easier when tapping on links that will take you to your original browser and away from the application. With Flinx, you can open links and still be able to continue using the current application you are in while the website loads in the background. With all the external links, it's really annoying having to open your third party browser just to read a full article. Flinx is not like a regular browser. This is a window browser, so when you click a link, a small bubble will appear on the side of your screen indicating that the article is loading up for you to read. Tapping on the bubble will pop up the loaded page but in an easy to read format with no ads or clutters, just the text and the pictures to allow you to focus on the main content. Looking at the big picture, this will save you mobile data since the advertisements are not being loaded and any unnecessary items on the page won't pop up. But if you need the original website for whatsoever, tapping on the globe icon will automatically load everything including the advertisements and the interactive content it's basically loading the entire website on its own. And next to the globe, you can tap the ribbon to read the current article offline later. Or you also have the option of double tapping on a link to automatically save that article to read later. You can also share the article link to any third party application or save the website for applications such as Pocket, Evernote, and many others. It's a really cool idea. You have the option of loading up multiple links and then they will load up as tabs to switch between each one. Then when you're done reading each one, you can close them all by grabbing the floating circle and throwing it down towards an X at the bottom of the screen or through the notification. It's true multitasking at its finest. And when you open Flinx from your drawer, you can view your saved articles for offline reading or a history of all the links that you have opened in the past. Now I know you're probably thinking, how is this any different from Link Bubble, which is the same concept except the advantage of Flinx is that everything is free. There are no advertisements, no in-app purchases, and while Link will make you buy their full version, which is $2, and I don't think it's worth it. So as always, I will have a link in the description to check out Flinx in the Google Play Store. And that's it for this video guys, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!